you don't fully trust your money. I don't care how high it's stacked up. Never fully trust the pastor. Oh, Lord, I should have got more amen. I said, God is the only one we should trust fully or absolutely. We're going to start out with one verse of Scripture. Hebrews 11 and 6. Notice the Scripture says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. But notice, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So, we never want to be without faith if it takes faith to please him i don't want to be without faith i don't want to be without what it takes to please god so my subject this morning is never be without faith tell your neighbor the subject never be without faith never be without faith you can be seated never be without faith because again according to hebrews 11 and 6 without faith it's impossible to please god so we need to know what faith is receive two things this morning that faith signifies on this morning or receive the two things that i want you to understand about faith this morning Number one, I want you to know that faith is living by the word of God. When you live by or according to the word of God, you are living by faith. For Romans 10 and 17 says, so faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If I'm going to have faith, I need the word. And according to that same chapter, the scripture said, how shall they hear without a preacher? How can they preach except they be sent? So if I'm going to get faith, it has to come through the word and the word has to come by the sent preacher. Sent simply meaning an anointed preacher. You need an anointed preacher in order to get faith because the preacher is going to release the word and when you live by the word you are living by faith so i need the sent preacher in my life to give me the word or to instruct me in what i need to live by and when the preacher is proclamating the word and you choose to live according to the word, you're living by faith. So I don't need to just come to church and hear the word only. I need to hear the word and do the word. I need to apply the word to my life. And when I do, I am living by what? Faith. Living by faith is also trusting God fully. Whenever you live by faith, you are trusting God fully. Understand, according to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Solomon said, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him or God, and he will direct your paths. So if I'm living by faith, I am, again, trusting God fully because God is the only one we should trust fully. Oh, Lord, I should have got more amen. I said God is the only one we should trust fully or absolutely. You said, what about you, pastor? What about the sent preacher? You, you don't trust the sent preacher fully because the preacher is still yet a man. But you trust the preacher as long as the preacher follows Christ. 
Because the scripture said, follow me as I follow Christ. So if I'm following Christ, yes, follow the preacher, but do so as the preacher follows Christ. Never fully trust the pastor. Come on, somebody. You trust the pastor in what he's saying because you know what he's saying is in line with the word or the will of God. You don't just tell folk, I trust my pastor fully. No, you're messing up. Your pastor is a man. I am the God man, but yet I am man. I am flesh. But when it comes to God, we fully trust God. Oh, come on, somebody. You don't fully trust your money. I don't care how high it's stacked up. You can have it to the point to where if you take it out the bank, you can stack it to the ceiling, but don't trust in it. Why? The proverb writers say riches have a way of, of getting wings and flying away. Don't trust something that could be here today and gone tomorrow. Oh, some of y'all ain't some of y'all ain't getting on board. You say, well, Pastor, I got all this money stacked up and, and so I'm good for the rest of my life. You ain't good. What if the currency change? What if the money is no longer good? Do you not realize back in the Civil War they were fighting and going on and, 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 and it actually came to the point to where one side that lost, their money was no longer good, was no longer valid? Oh, God. W wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be a mess for folk that trust in money to wake up one morning and all across the news is money ain't good no more. Only thing good is gold. Somebody's going to be, somebody's going to be, whoa. Those that trusting in it, ooh, they're going to be in trouble. Never fully trust your job. Come on. Because your job will sometimes, yeah, change, but sometimes fire you. And you don't want to get fired from a job that you fully trust in. You always want to work a job with the mindset, God gave me this one. And if it's time for me to move on, he'll give me another one. But I'm not trusting in what he gave me. I'm trusting in who gave it. So if you do get laid off, you can smile anyhow because your trust wasn't fully in your job. Never fully trust your family. Because your family will change on you. Folk love you today, hate you tomorrow. And family is limited as well. You fully trust who? God. You fully trust who? And if you're going to trust anyone or anything else, you do so because your God has told you you can trust him. Don't, fully, don't, don't even put your trust in a doctor. Saving you know God saying you can trust what he's saying. You can trust what she's doing. Don't just do it because they got a degree on their wall that say they practice in medicine. Don't do that. Don't let nobody practice on you. Don't let nobody experiment on you. you if you're going to let the doctor do something, let him do it because you pray and God say it's well. Then you move what? Forward. Don't trust fully in appeal. A medicine. Trust in who? God. Are we on board? Because some of us like we can't live without our appeal. We can't move without our appeal. We can't function without our appeal. No, you need to be to the point I can't move without God. I can't function without can't talk right without, can't do right without, can't make it without, can't be happy without. See, that's saying you fully trust in God. Okay? And by the way, some of us look at we're not doing that. Well, I know he said it's impossible, but I think I can do it. You don't understand impossible. Impossible means not possible. You can't please God if you don't live 
By faith. Listen, stick to the definitions. You can't please God if you're not living by the word. You can't please God if you're not fully trusting him. Not what? Possible. Unable to be? It's not possible that I can please him without what? Faith. I need faith to please who? I need to live by the word to please who? I need to fully trust God in order to please him. Are y'all with me? And tell your neighbor real quick, that's what you want to do. Tell somebody out of everybody, you desire to please, let God be number one. Ooh, I said, let God be number one, not your spouse. Let it be God. I want to please God first. So if pleasing God upsets you, so be it. He's number one on the list to what? Please. Because when I please God, all things become possible in my life because God can do for me what you can't do. So why would I try to please you more than please God? Do you have it? Because some of us, we're trying to please others more so than God. Please God. And to please him, I got to live by faith. Look at Jeremiah, the 11th chapter. And consider that faith is living by the word. The rhema, that which is revealed, and the logos, that which is written. I have to live by it, okay? Notice Jeremiah 11 and 1. Keeping that definition in mind. The word that came to Jeremiah from who? Lord. So Jeremiah is about to speak, but what he's speaking is coming from the Lord. So Jeremiah is the prophet, but his words are from God. Recognize when the house prophet speaks God is using his mouth but they are God's words that's the reason if I speak God's word being God's prophet God will not allow his word that I speak to hit the ground he'll give you a miracle before the word hits the ground why? Because the prophet spoke it. That's the reason when you receive a bona fide word from a prophet, even if all hell breaks loose, stand on the word. Stand on the word. If death show up, stand on the word. If financial difficulty hit, stand on the word. If a problem occurs in the business, stand on the word. If something break out in church, stand on the word. Trouble in your marriage, stand on the word. God said I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Blessed when I come, blessed when I go. Trouble is here, but I'm standing on the word. 